what are the most common businesses that I should invest that will actually guarantee or make sure that I will get the E2 visa. An E2 investor actually must demonstrate that to able to develop and direct the businesses to business experience and or and or education. To an investor who has a run a business or does not have a substantial work experience may face hurdles obtaining the two visa. The reason I'm explaining this part kind of show that if you're making an investment in an area that you have an experience or you have a plan and what you know what you're gonna do is gonna definitely help you to get your E2 visa or make the customer understand why you what you you doing that investment so that it will give them kind of feeling that you're doing this investment and this investment is going to succeed and, and you know, employments are going to be created. So they will see when they're looking at you that you will be able to do this. As long as that's the case, if the country of the nationality you have is the part of the treaty that you know, the U.S. has, then, you know, it's all going to be about if you are, you know, creating a business that's going to succeed and then you are going to be able to show the consulate why you're investing, what is the obstacles or what is the you know competition or what's the market is about and why you're buying this business or why you're investing into that business or why you invest into that industry. That's going to be the key to convince them. Otherwise, you could really invest into different you know, uh, services or products or businesses. It's usually, uh, there's no limit to, as long as limitation, as long as it's a legal business that you're entering, you're investing, you're not going to have any problem. And also, if there's a license required or if you have enough licenses that to be able to do that business or permission to do those business, you're not going to have any problem to be able to get the E2 visa.